Hi friends, you are watching Movie Reviews with Aragoram. If you love action movies, drop everything, book a ticket to your nearest theater and go watch this movie, Black Adam. Simply superb. High volatile action sequences. Very impactful. High octane action sequences. If you are an action lover, you will fall in so much of love with these action sequences that uh, you need not even tell a dil, dil mange more. Because the director is liberal enough to serve you with uh, so many action sequences. Like, I just wondered whether it is a story coming between action sequences or action sequences coming in between the story. And the action sequences are also so lengthy that you will feel a wow factor there. Brilliantly choreographed action sequences with very good VFX and computer graphics I have ever seen. In the climax, there is an extended uh, action sequence between Black Adams and uh, the villain that could have been better. It looks more over like uh, a computer graphics, uh, more of computer graphics rather than an actual action sequence. But nonetheless, it is also effective, just like the intro scene where you would see Black Adam coming into the picture, that extended action sequence uh, with the villains. And Black Adam is a superhero. And obviously he has superpowers. It is a character from DC Comics. A DC comic character of the same name. Dwayne Jansen has uh, portrayed the role and character of Black Adam. And action, as an action hero, what else do you need? Dwayne Johnson doing those action sequences. So it's a dream to watch him. In those action sequences in the movie. I'm repeatedly telling action sequences because leave apart the story, just go enjoy the high octane action sequences. Very good VFX, very, very, very good VFX. Special effects out of the world. Background music, you should tell. The background music I felt never stopped. Generally, for friends, we get uh, the background music elevating the scenes. Very good scenes in the movie. It comes. But here, throughout the length of the movie, the background music has been stitched. So you can see when the actions are revisiting your uh, frame every now and then, 5 minutes gap, action sequence, 15 minutes gap, action sequence. And those action sequences are running in such length. The background music also should sync, isn't it? Wonderful background music. Cinematography. Take the cinematography. Zip, zap, zoom. What an high octane action movie has to have cinematography and the direction of photography. Brilliant. Fast moving camera, camera angles from where these people have shot those shots. Just brilliant. So, all these components will keep you engaged, hooked, and booked, nailed to your chair. Not a single moment of boredom while watching Black Adam. Friend. Fantastic action movie. I'm telling you again, fantastic action movie for those who love action. Don't search for a big story. There is a good story, decent story, but the story packed with action, mainly tailored for the movie has been customized and tailored for strictly for action lovers. And it is a paisa vasul. You will feel as spent the worth of the movie. The story is a spin-off from 2019 Shazam and uh, the story runs in two timelines. One, an ancient story and another story which is running in the present day. And the entire story runs in a place called as Kandak. So telling the story in brief, many, many, many years ago, long, long ago, there used to be a city called as Kandak. That city also is existing today. That was a beautiful city at that particular time. And there was a king who manufactured a crown. You have a story of a crown also. They call it as crown of Sabak. And the entire story revolves around uh, the crown of Sabak, which is believed to bestow superpowers to the power who, person who is wearing it. And obviously, many people will be behind it. In the past story, something has happened that Black Adam is uh, buried. We can tell that uh, Black Adam has been cursed and uh, made to lay asleep for an indefinite period of time. In the present day, a particular event 
makes the black adam once again to come back to life in the present day once again kandak has been oppressed by a big gang known as intergang so here you get to see the story of black adam the story of intergang the story of the crown of sabak people falling behind uh, black adam his superpowers and the justice society of america trying to stop black adam again this is an interesting concept there are many superheroes in the justice society of america we have the hawkman as the captain of the justice society of america we also have dr fate in the team we have cyclone and atom smasher all these characters are introduced to us in this particular movie now that is a different story different angle why this justice society of america is trying to stop black adam apart from this you also have a flashback of black adam so there are many subplots to the story which are connected which uh, the story coalesces towards uh, the climax of the movie and what happens in the end you are going to watch in the movie black adam now coming to the cast and symbol the cast and symbol is simply superb everybody has done justice to their role but you your eyes are glued to the screen whenever uh, dwayne johnson is making his presence on the screen especially in the high octane action sequences dwayne johnson is simply superb simply superb look at his avatar look at his uh, involvement in the action sequences the way he lives the sparks his uh, costumes are simply superb and the enormous power with which he beats and smashes those baddies man simply superb and uh, you need to watch in this particular movie is black adam a hero or a villain is he is he a protagonist or an antagonist why are there so many subplots to his story why are there two timelines of his particular story who are the villains from the past who are the villains in uh, uh, the present in his life is he himself a villain is he a hero or anti hero or a superhero what exactly he is is he the person whom kandak is waiting for that this person is going to come and uh, help us he is going to help us survive he is going to free us from the slavery is he the right person for whom kandak was waiting for so different shades to the character different layers to the character of black adam and different subplots connected to the story of black adam this makes the story interesting not a special story not a superb story and from a particular point of view until the flashback has been told the story much of the story is predictable it is going in a single line coming to the negativities of the movie i felt the st- storytelling should have been more gripping and point number 2 you are lost in the action sequences you are in awe with the action sequences you are just clapping and visualing or you feel like doing so when you are watching those action sequences and uh, those special effects and everything uh, it's a visual spectacle as i already said when you are watching this particular movie but the connection with the characters that connection is not there especially the justice league people they are introduced so soon so quickly and their characters are not explored so there is no depth in each character we don't know who is that character who is uh, what you don't know only the flashback of uh, black adam has been told to us and uh, the justice league characters they play a very important role in this particular movie and their characters are not explained to us so probably there will be spin offs uh, in which these characters also will have a lengthy role probably in sequel they will have a lengthy role i suppose nonetheless director james colesera has done uh, a good job in directing this particular movie and uh, the movie is effective impactful and engaging so as i already said in the beginning don't worry about the story or anything just go to the movie if you are a fan of dwayne johnson you will love this movie if you love action movies you will love this movie because uh, this is one of the very good uh, visual spectacles i have seen in which uh, there are enriched action sequences high octane action sequences tailor made for action uh, lovers friends don't miss this movie don't miss the big screen experience of this movie and i felt uh, this movie should have been definitely should have been in 3d and now i am going to come to the most important and uh, very 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 interesting and attractive part of uh, the movie which definitely will blow your minds away because you are not expecting that to happen in the post credit scene just watch there is yet another uh, superhero walking in and he tells black adam we should talk and then you are simply blown away so once the credits starts once the climax is over don't walk away from the theater if you walk away from the theater you are not going to get that superhero get to see that superhero and a small interaction one sided interaction from that superhero and by that definitely you would have realized that the gates have opened for the sequel or the second part of black adam 
well on my scoreboard i would go with a liberal 8.5 out of 10 for uh, black adam watch it don't miss it thanks for watching my video if you loved my video kindly like share and subscribe to my channel i'll catch up with you all in my next video with another movie review until then do take care goodbye namaste